What's up, y'all? Happy New Week. Um, today is Monday. It's a beautiful day out here in Tejas. This is on my spirit heavy, and it's been on my spirit now for probably three days. But it's something I used to live by that I kind of think is really relevant right now. Stop sharing your deposits prematurely. What that means is when you're in alignment and God decides to give you a revelation about an idea, a business idea, do not prematurely share it with the world. Do not prematurely share it with anybody. You're going to get so many ideas that you're just going to be like so excited and want to run to the mountaintops to scream and share. Absolutely not. There are monitoring spirits that are looking to sabotage you every moment you open your mouth when you're not supposed to. Which is why the Bible talks about death and life is in the power of the tongue. That doesn't just mean you're speaking negatively about where you're at. That also goes for prematurely speaking, mere talking. God does not like when people just talk just to talk with no purpose and no plan. Unless you feel in your spirit that the Holy Spirit is like, share this with them because they're going to be able to help you. Don't do it because you will find yourself telling somebody. Y'all ever told somebody something that you're about to do and then something just doesn't work out and then you end up having to tell them like, oh, it didn't work out. Or they're asking like, hey, what happened with this and this? And you're like, oh, it didn't work out. To avoid all of that that causes discouragement or self-doubt, just don't tell nobody until it's time to tell somebody. Don't post it on social media. Don't post it and be like, oh, we got something big coming. Don't do any of that unless it's a launch that needs to do that. Unless you're doing like a product launch where you need people to be knowing about what you're doing. But if it's something that has to happen with or without an audience, don't share it. Keep it to yourself. Wait for God to tell you to move. But in the back end, prepare it. Do not allow your insecurities to make you feel like if you don't post it, then you're not doing it. I never send warning signs, ever. And it's not because, oh, I think I'm this and I think I'm that. It's because God did not tell me I needed to do it that way. So I'm going to do it the way that is safest in God's hands. I'm not dropping stuff right when it happens because I'm going to allow the blessing to marinate. If the blessing has enough time to marinate, you end up finding yourself literally the safest you could have ever been with that specific blessing. And it's going to taste so good. When I used to eat meat, I make like these bomb oxtails. I make really good meat. I would marinate my meat for at least a day. At least a day. In whatever sauces and whatever spices I would put it in, right? And I did it that way. And not only did it cook better, it tasted better. It was, it, it fell off the bone better. It was just a better quality of meat. Versus I buy some meat and throw it on a skillet, season it. I may have to over-season it. I may have to go back in and do extra work. Holy Spirit, speak through me. I may have to go back in and put it back into a bag to get it marinated because I didn't have enough patience just to let it marinate in the time that it needed to marinate. That is the same with your blessings. When God deposits something in your mind, you don't go run telling people everything God just told you. You let it marinate. You let it You let it sit with you. Even after the blessing is done, don't tell people prematurely what God is doing for you because there is monitoring spirits waiting for your demise, waiting to throw you off, waiting to try to shut down the prayers and the breakthrough that is coming for you. Be silent about the moves that you are making. It is okay not to post every single detail of your life. It's okay. Don't nobody got to know everything about you, bro. Leave some mystery to you. And not only do you let it sit with you, you let it fester. You let the back end be built up. People think, oh, I got a business idea. Boom, Instagram. Boom, I got to make a website. There's so much foundational work that goes into building a blessing. When you are working in kingdom-based entrepreneurship, there's a lot of fundamentals that come in the back end, including building up your character. Because when God puts you on those large stages, you are not sharing the stage with God. God is going to use you and put you in position so that you can do his work and he will take the glory. You will never take the glory. You will just be a vessel for him. So in the meantime, while God is giving you these blessings, Holy Spirit, speak through me. In the meantime, when God is giving you these blessings, you need to be building up your character in the back end so that he knows he can trust you with the blessing and the time to release it. Whoever this word is for, I hope that you receive it the way that I'm receiving it. Bye.